everybody welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by the title of this video it is a little different i'm going to be showing you how i make chicken pot pie soup so if that is something that you're interested in then make sure you keep on watching so it's actually a little chilly here in north carolina we had quite a few um low temp days and um, when I was recording this video and I was thinking to myself I want some soup so bad but I didn't want chili I didn't want um, uh, like a beef soup or anything like that I wanted something different and I went on Pinterest and I decided to try this chicken pot pie soup and it turned out to be amazing you all and I do mean amazing so I'm actually just going to start by cutting up my vegetables If you're new here welcome i would like to take this time to just officially welcome you to the channel please make sure you hit that like button subscribe button and also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any of my videos i truly appreciate each and every one of you um and uh i just want to kind of just come on here and introduce myself my name is tamika i am a wife a mom of one and two bonus daughters um, who live in Florida and my husband and I have our son here in North Carolina with us. I do work from home for a financial institution as a mortgage underwriter um, and I'm sure you guys know the industry is a little slow now but you know thank God we still all have jobs. You guys can see my manager right there. I hate the dog being in the kitchen but for some reason when he wants my attention he doesn't care and um, I, I don't like animals in the kitchen like that but Eventually, I will stop and let him out. You all won't see that. I cut that part out. But I do stop and let him out. He He's back and forth, back and forth inside all day long. So, um, anyway, I'm just cutting up all my vegetables real quick. Onions, uh, carrots, and some celery. And then we'll go from there. So time has lapsed and what I like to start doing is I'm going to heat up my pan with the butter um, and let that let that butter melt and I believe that was a half a stick of butter to be honest with you and so instead of using like an oil or anything the recipe did call for butter so I just let that melt and then in the meantime I try to multitask so um, I go back and forth between the kitchen and the um 
<laughs> the kitchen and the uh, the sink area of the island. So while my butter is melting, I took the time to go ahead and cut up my potatoes. And as you can see, I was on the phone. And so once I do that, then I'll start working towards getting my soup together. I will go ahead and um, I'm going to, I guess you could say, caramelize my vegetables um, in that butter because I want them to soften up before we actually get the soup going. That way it doesn't take as long to cook because it doesn't take potatoes long when you uh, cut, the, cut them up the way we're cutting them up. But the carrots do need to be a little softer. As you all know, carrots, you know, have that nice crunch to them. So in order to soften them up, even the, um, the celery, it was best to basically, I guess, caramelize and, um, or if you want to call it stir fry, if you will, those vegetables first. So um, again, I'm letting my butter melt first and then I'll go ahead and add my vegetables and then you'll see me start to add other things to the soup as well. Big, you might get stretched. All your gun talk, I ain't impressed. My 45 seems real traffic. That's Dallas, Texas. My little partner called a body for a Maserati. He told him get about the car, hit him with the shoddy. That 12th gauge gave him life in the 12th grade. I tried to write him, but we ain't on the same page. I caught him slipping. I just had to let him know. It ain't the end of times yet. I know, but it's getting close. These demons really had to get you, so you better guard your post. There's certain things I could probably let go, but I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. So as you can see here, it is getting nice and soft, my vegetables, so I'm going to continue to let them go. In the meantime, I did cheat. I did not cook no chicken or anything like that. But this is what you call a quick meal, especially for those of us who work um, from home or even if you got to go if you're working outside of your home this is a really simple meal if you just go and buy the chicken and then pull it apart and cut it up as i am going to do so i bought this chicken from our local grocery store Publix. um it's just a whole chicken and because i needed to have something for xavier to eat so he will be eating the chicken with some bread and some um rice so uh i'm cutting up most of the chicken and um, I did sneak a bite. I, I see y'all see that right there. I'm just straight eating. <laughs> but um, I am cutting up a lot of that chicken and then I'm just cutting it up in small pieces so that uh, I can go ahead and put that in the soup as well. vegetables have um, softened up and they've cooked uh, to a point where I'm comfortable to add in the rest of my ingredients I am I did add in some chicken broth I am adding in some um, corn and some peas both of these items were frozen they were not fresh you can use fresh uh, vegetables if you like I just like to do it as easy as possible and you can see I'm adding in my cut up potatoes but again, I like my stuff to be as easy as possible. Um, that way it doesn't take all day to make whatever item I'm going to be making, uh, or dish, I'm sorry, that I'm gonna be making that evening. So after letting that sit for a minute um, and just kind of all the flavor, 
all the food just try to start cooking together we're gonna start adding our seasonings and so i just added in some garlic this is onion powder uh then we're going to add in our black pepper and don't be stingy with the black pepper i mean because this is chicken pot pie it needs black pepper um then we're going to add in some i just add in some accent and again i don't that is my that is that chicken seasoning that i got from sam's club i don't measure so it's hard for me to tell you all how much to use because i usually season according to how much i have in my pot so now i'm adding my chicken and at first i was afraid i didn't put up enough but it turned out to be perfect and as you can see it is more than enough chicken for my chicken pot pie soup so we're gonna let that simmer and while that's simmering we're gonna start our um another mixture if you will that we're gonna actually put in the chicken pot pie soup we're starting off with about two or three uh teaspoons of butter we're gonna add some self-rising flour and then we're gonna be adding in our heavy whipping cream and some milk uh with that now i believe the heavy whipping cream is uh one cup and it's supposed to be like two maybe two cups of heavy whipping cream and a cup of milk i believe so um what ended up happening to me was i felt like it wasn't thick enough once i did everything so i added in a little bit of cornstarch as you can see right there i got my my milk and my heavy whipping cream and you're going to kind of let this thicken itself up um and you want to stir it and you do this process for about i'm gonna say five to ten minutes i'm um, just constantly stirring until it thickens up and then you add it into your soup for me it did not i think i had too much of the uh chicken broth so i had to add some cornstarch to mine to thicken it up but again that's just the tricks of the trade so when you know if you know that something is not thick enough you can add a little uh, self rising flour or some cornstarch so everything as you can see it's simmering it's it's looking good and girl it's smelling good on top of that now i'm going to add in my mixture and i'm going to continue to stir that and let it sit and while that's just soaking in all the flavors and everything is coming together, you do have to continue to stir um, so it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pan or uh, I mean, for me, my Dutch oven. So you will, you know, stir every, you know, few minutes or so, just depending on, I don't like to cook on high. I do have that on a low um, heat. So I am going to be starting my bread though while that is so here i am starting my bread um and again she didn't make nothing from scratch that is some pillsbury doughboy bread that you get out the refrigerator section at the grocery store and you let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes don't burn them but you know make sure they cook real good i'm gonna put up the rest of this food that i did not use so i can use it in a different um dish at a later date I am going to be cutting up my potatoes and I'm going to put those in the freezer as well. And um, I'm going to plate this and let you guys see what it looks like. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you're going to try this recipe. I would love to know if there are any recipes that you have that I can try. Please let me know as well. I, again, I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, bye. Where I'm at on my own Had a couple blocks in the road